Backed by popular demand, we brought on an expert trader and another crypto YouTuber to discuss the bearish scenario for Bitcoin. How low can this price go? And the targets for where we could see the price drop to are absolutely insane. Are we going to see a continuation of the Bitcoin bull market or are we destined to go through another bear winter sooner rather than later? Today, I'm joined by Carl from the Moon YouTube channel as he discusses and predicts where he believes Bitcoin is going in the next month. Let's get it. BitSwap is the hottest new way to trade tokens. Crawling all the top decentralized exchanges, BitSwap gets you the very best price and value for your trades. BitSwap is changing the game. Try it now at BitSwapDex.io. Hey guys, I'm joined here with Carl from the moon. Now listen, he's back on the channel exactly as I predicted. He's back here to talk about Bitcoin. Uh, today, I want to break down a little bit about the downside of the charts with Bitcoin. Where could this thing end up? Uh, you know, a lot of people have been very bearish. We just had JP Morgan that came out and said they believe, you know, 40K is the top uh, two weeks at, or three weeks after saying 146K was coming. Uh, can you talk a little bit about, you know, some of the charting that you've seen on your channel? Uh, you know, some of the things that you've done that kind of show the bottom side of what we could possibly be looking at before, you know, most of us believe we get a return to good price action. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, first of all, thank you so much for being on the channel. Um, I, uh, and yeah, like we have been going up a lot in the past few months. And I think that um, everyone knows that a correction is always mm -hmm. around the corner when we're seeing these huge bull runs. You just go back into the chart and you can see that uh, Bitcoin tends to correct. Even in a huge bull run, we can see 40, 50, even 60% corrections sometimes. Um, and specifically in the last bull run, we did see 40% corrections consistently, even when Bitcoin was going up towards 20,000. So um, yeah, let's let's maybe go into the charts and we can sure. take a look at um, some price targets that could potentially be uh, valid if we do see these big, uh, like this big bearish scenario, so to speak. All right, so here we go. This is the uh, CME futures chart. So basically, Bitcoin is traded on the CME. And uh, the thing is that the CME futures chart is of course only traded during the weekdays. So sometimes we see these gaps. And as these green boxes down here are the gaps. Basically, when when uh, when the CME futures uh, close and then open at a higher price, that means that the Bitcoin price was um, changing a lot during this um, the period of time where the CME wasn't traded. And these gaps they tend to get filled. That's kind of the the idea here. Um, and some people are always asking, like, why do these CME gaps matter? Why do they even get filled in the first place? No one really knows. It's like, it's just like, it's just like a thing. CME, like everyone who trades stocks and who trades anything at all, they, they know that uh, CME futures uh, or CME gap uh, or um, gaps in general um, in any like chart, they, they fill sooner rather than later. And for Bitcoin, you can see here, for example, we had one big um, gap right there. Uh, from uh, 29,500 up to um, 33,000. And this gap, you can see immediately came down and just filled. And then the price continued to go higher. And um, going back, you can see that we have a big gap down here. This is kind of the gap that people are talking about right now. It, the, the bottom of this gap is down at 23,000 approximately, 23,700. And uh, of course, if Bitcoin were to come all the way down there, then uh, that would be a correction of approximately something like 22 percent, 20, 23 percent. And um, but, but, but how, how big of a correction is that from the top? You know, that's I think that's from historically top. when we look back at the charts here in a few years, you know, when, when this bull runs over, I think that's what people will be measuring. I think that's a giant drop there. True. All right. Let's take a look at. So first of all, so far what we've seen from the top to where Bitcoin is currently approximately 30% drop. But, you know, we, we can see all the way down to 40% easily in uh, in bull runs. And going down to this gap would actually be 44% approximately, mm -hmm. as you can see. And that's not that big, to be honest. If you go back into the Bitcoin chart, you can see that 40% corrections are very, very normal in a bull market. Um, so this is something that could easily happen easily, yeah. easily based on statistics and based on previous price action. 
So that kind of begs the question, could we go even lower? And I know that people don't like bearish, um, bearish predictions. And by the way, this is not a prediction. I'm not predicting right. this. Right now, I'm just like telling you guys that there are CME gaps down here. And uh, there is a gap down here, this green box, uh, all the way down at 18,000 approximately. And um, let's take a look at that then. How, how far of a correction could that be? From the top down to 18,000 would be approximately, uh, as you can see, 57%. And that's, that's a lot. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger yeah. one. And uh, this is something that we don't see in a bull market. This would mm -hmm. this would be more like a bear market territory yeah. kind of thing, um, which means that um, this, what we saw here, from the corona dump up towards 42,000, that was the bull market. And uh, maybe we were to switch into a bear market here because... I would say 57% is a little bit too much to kind of call it a bull market. Uh -huh. um, and if we were to see something like this, then I think that most likely we would see kind of a a short bear market, not a long one, not a long one at all, but like a short, maybe like a four to seven months kind of bear market, um, but not this like multi-year bear market. Uh, but talking about these gaps, we do have one even lower down here, uh, this gap uh, down at um, 17,000, 17,000. And... Um, well, let's just um, do what we have to do. These are scary numbers. These are scary numbers, yeah. So that would be 60%. And, um, but then again, like, honestly, if we look at this, 60% down, 17,000, it was only a matter of like, yeah, back in December of last year, we were at these uh, levels. So we're talking about like two, three months ago, we were there. So yeah, it sounds horrible when you say 60% down, um, but we have we have seen such a huge uh, bull run that even if this happens, most of us are still in profit, right? Yeah. But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that this is going to take place, but I do think we have to kind of pay attention to these things because when we see exuberance like this, euphoria, which we have seen definitely, um, we always see price correct. We have to shake out the weak hands because, I mean... All of us watching these videos, I mean, most of us, we, we were in Bitcoin way below mm. 15,000. Of course, yeah. we know Bitcoin, we, uh, or we know Ethereum, we understand kind of why we're in this space right now. But the thing is that people that jump in up here, those are the people we have to be a little bit concerned about because these people probably only buy because of the price going up. Because... It, it just looks nice to buy something that is pumping every day, right? They see yeah. their friend... They look at their friend's block folio up 10% in a day. And the, in the workspace, people are talking about Bitcoin. So these people are jumping in here. And these are the people that might have to be shaken out. Um, because, yeah. And also, of course, the people that buy in the latest because of price, they are the first ones to sell as soon as the price starts to go down. Because when price is no fun anymore, they will be selling. Yeah. Um, yeah, we definitely That's how that. it always is in these bubbles. I think, you know, the interesting thing about the CME gaps um, is that we haven't seen the way that they've reacted in a bull market yet. We've pretty much only seen these CME gaps in Bitcoin during a bear market because they didn't launch until basically the very, very top of the Bitcoin market. So, you know, for that reason, I tend to think, uh, you know, that a lot of these will end up getting filled maybe after the bull market and i definitely don't believe that this is the end of the bull market i think when you start even talking about a 44 to 45 percent drop i think it starts to get pretty dicey uh for continuing on uh in a bull market and, and i think that personally we're not going to get to those numbers if if it does occur like what you said uh that we go through this and then like you know maybe a six or seven month bear market that would kind of negate almost everything we've ever seen in the history of Bitcoin. You know, that, that would mean that we are now on a new path in uncharted territory where the Bitcoin cycles don't really apply. And for me personally, that's a big jump. But I'm also not dumb enough to think that at some point that won't end and that we won't get kind of a new, a new cycle, if you will. Uh, but what do you think about, in, in terms of like just the charts, we're looking at, at what's happening here. Uh, and I know you like the charts, but then on the fundamental side, we've got Grayscale buying 1.3 billion when it hit 30 million. We're seeing, you know, micro strategy buy these amounts. So last week set a record for the amount of inflow into cryptocurrency, and yet the price was dumping. To me, that screams of manipulation 
pushing the price down intentionally because we're about to get a big pop to the upside. Ultimately, where do you feel like in the, in the short term? And by short term, I mean in the next one to two months, what do you see playing out? Yeah, so you touched on something interesting there. Like if we were to see this big correction down to these levels and see a multi-month bear market, then this would be out of the ordinary for Bitcoin. This would be something new. And that would mean that the trend, this 12 year trend is over. So right. that leads me to believe that this is probably not the likeliest scenario. I don't think we're going to see uh, this bear market scenario play out because it just doesn't really make sense with previous price action. Um, but yeah, what do I actually think is going to play out? Well, let me just show you something else here in the chart real quick because uh, you can find this falling wedge or bull pennant in the CME chart or even in, in the spot chart, doesn't really matter. You can see it in both. Um, and this is, of course, a bullish pattern. Mm -hmm. And um, so we talked about the bearish scenario, obviously, filling the gaps here. But there is this bullish scenario. You can see a very, very well clear defined resistance yeah. here in the Bitcoin price. So it's very obvious to anyone who knows anything about the TA that if we were to break this resistance, that would be bullish. That would mean that we are most likely going to see another leg to the upside. Something else that is important here is to see that the volume is declining here. Mm. This always indicates a big boom. This indicates that we are consolidating now after this uh, this huge bull run and the Bitcoin is getting ready for the next big, um, big move, this big cha uh, change. And whether this change is a big trend change or, or just like another big leg up here and basically um, ending this consolidation, that remains to be seen. And that's why we have to pay attention to the support and resistance in this falling wedge uh, because um, the, the, the bullish scenario obviously is breaking to the upside and the bearish is to break to the downside. And in terms of like targets here, you could definitely call this um, a, a bull pennant. And if you were to do that, then you would have to um, measure the target, something like this. You could measure from this point or all the way down from this point. And if you were to take it from this point, then we just pull this up like this. And this is oh, just yeah. classic technical analysis. And the um, exact target is going to be then approximately $54,000 if you look at it on this chart. If you look at different spot charts, it will say maybe 53,000, 54. It, it depends, but like approximately well above 50,000 at least um, if we do see this scenario play out. So that's why we just um, have to kind of set our price alert here because we are ranging in this uh, like consolidation, but it's not going to consolidate forever. We know that when Bitcoin um, loses volatility like this, we always know that it's just temporary. Yeah. There is a huge move coming, guys. That's for sure. Yeah, and you know, I, I love this fifty-four thousand dollar target because this really lines up with uh, what we saw with some Bitcoin options, uh, where they were taking options at fifty-two thousand by the end of January, which is you know less than a week away now. Uh, could we get a big move that could be that explosive in that amount of time? I'm not really sure, but you know, if it extends out a week or two weeks to the middle of February. A lot of people are saying February is going to be a big month. The reason for that, I think it would be because we're getting to the end of this wedge. And I, here's, here's the real truth. If we break down out of this wedge, we all need to take a look in the mirror and start realizing maybe that was the top. And, but I don't think that that's going to happen. I don't think you think that is going to happen. Most people here on YouTube do not believe that that is going to happen. So, Carl, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, giving us a little 101 on the charts uh, and showing us a little bit about the CME gap and, uh, you know, and things like that. So, everybody, if you want to go subscribe to Carl's, ch uh, Carl's channel, The Moon, The Moon is the name of his channel, of course. You guys can go down in the video description. I'm going to have uh, a, a link there. You guys can click and you guys can go and subscribe to his channel because he does a phenomenal job. I watch your videos. You make multiple videos a day. You're in the multiple video per day club these days. And uh, I, I watch at least one of your videos every single day because uh, you do a really great job breaking stuff down. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me here. I think that we should do this more often because I feel like when we do these collabs, people love it. And uh, it seems like um, a very, very fun thing to do, right? I enjoy this a lot. So let's yeah. do it again soon. Awesome. Absolutely. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a comment down below. If you guys want more collabs, make sure to smash that like button. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out. Yeah.